Check out this dope map my wife got me for our anniversary. It's a map of places I've traveled to or want to travel to. All the blue pins are the places I want to go and then the orange pins are the places I've been to. As I was pinning the places that I've been to, it didn't even seem like I've been that many places. Then I realized I just kept going back to the places that I like. Like Thailand, I've been twice. Japan, I went twice. Taiwan, I went like four or five times. And then I spent six weeks in Peru backpacking by myself. I just love travel. Ever since we had a kid, I haven't had much time to travel, but the wife gave me the okay to start traveling more this year. Awesome. Size doesn't matter anymore. In my opinion, the TBS Unify series of VTX are the best VTX available, and the Pro 32 Nano could be the best of them all. Look at this thing. This thing is freaking tiny. But what's most important is that it outputs super clean video. The Pro 32 Nano is only 13.5 by 15.5 by 3 millimeters thick and weighs 1 gram. It has three power levels, 25, 100, and 400. It uses Smart Audio 2.1, takes 5, 5 volt input, but by going by the manual, it seems like there will be a version in the future that can take 2 to 6S power. Uh, it has a physical button and is supposed to be one of the cleanest signal of the U Unify VTX, letting you fly up to 16 pilots at once. Impressive. So don't confuse the Pro 32 Nano with the original Nano, which is roughly the same size. But the original Nano only had a power output of 25 and 50 milliwatt. The biggest drawback of the original Nano is that it did have a physical button. That actually made setup a pain in the ass because you had to figure out a way to unlock the VTX using tweezers or like a little ghetto piece of wire. Forget about trying to solder on that little tiny SMD switch that it came with. It's super hard. With the Pro 32 Nano, you don't have to lick your fingers or anything like that. It, can't, it comes with a physical button already installed. There's three ways to change VTX settings on the Pro 32 Nano. Physical button, Betaflight OSD, or Crossfire. When I first installed the, this VTX on my Neutron, I couldn't get into the Smart Audio VTX settings in Betaflight OSD. So I reached out to TBS and they told me that's because Betaflight doesn't currently support 2.1, uh, Smart Audio 2.1. So as of this post, Betaflight 3.55, you can't use Betaflight OSD to change the VTX setting. You have to either change the settings with the physical button or use the Crossfire. Normally I use the Betaflight OSD to change VTX channels, but I'm liking the Crossfire method more and more. The problem with the Betaflight OSD method is that unless you know what channel your VTX is outputting, you can't get into your video to see your settings. Say like if you're at a race and you need to change channels in between heats, you have to scan your VT or you have to scan your RX to get your signal, but then you're also picking up everyone else's signal. With the crossfire method, you just go into the RX settings and just change it because it's all right there. To use the crossfire method on the Pro 32 Nano, make sure your crossfire TX and the RX are both on at least 2.88 firmware. To find that, you just go into your crossfire settings. Page down, crossfire, go in the LUA script, execute, and then on the TX, um, you can just select that and then check the firmware. I've already updated on mine, but you can see it's on 2.88, and then you go into the Nano. By the way, once you update your, um, your crossfire transmitter um, to the latest firmware, you have to rebind it to your crossfire. Just keep that in mind. You see mine is on 2.88 uh, firmware. So to use the smart audio on your Crossfire, all you do is connect the smart audio wire from your Unify. Could be the Pro, Pro 32 or any of the Unify. Just connect the smart audio wire to the channel 4 on your Nano RX. And once you have it connected on your quad, just go into the uh, Nano RX setting. See right now the VTX settings aren't showing up, but once you change the output on channel 4 to smart audio smart audio hit enter back out and then go back into the nano rx now your vtx channels are set are uh, showing and then you just go here and change it to whatever you want 
So I know on the Unify Series VTX, some of the channels are are locked for some reason. Like Race Band 1, 2, and 3 I think are part of the locked. To access the um, locked channels, you have to make sure your VTX is unlocked. And the unlocked state is a solid blue and solid orange. Alright, so you can see the solid blue light on my VTX right now. That means it's in a lock state. This is how you unlock the Pro 32 or all the VTX or the uh, Unify VTX. So to unlock it, you have to be in the band setting. So go ahead and push the button for three seconds. Let go. One, two, three. Let go. You'll see one orange flash. That means it's in the uh, channel settings. Do that one more time. One, two, three. Let go. Now you see two flashes. That means it's in the band settings. Now you're going to press and hold the button for I think like 20 seconds or something. Okay, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You'll see the blue LED start flashing. And then once it goes solid, you can let go. And then press and hold again, three seconds, let go. And then it should save the settings that you just did. Cycle through all the other ones. So now, once you save your settings, now you have a solid blue and solid orange. So that means the VTX is unlocked. Now you can access all the power levels and all the channels. All right, so I'm at the park now and it is cold as fuck degrees. I don't know how cold it is, but it's definitely cold for Texas. Anyways, I'm out here. I'm going to do some tests with the TBS Unified Pro 32 uh, Nano VTX. This VTX can go 25, 100, and 400 milliwatt power settings. It, but on the 25 milliwatt settings, I'm going to do some uh, distance tests and test the video signal. And then I'm going to compare it with this one, which is running the TBS Unify Race. This VTX can go uh, 25 to 200. But obviously this VTX doesn't do 200, so we're just going to compare the, um, the 25 milliwatt signals and see uh, if the signals look better or not. So my setup will be, um, basically both of these will be running the Axie Stubby antenna. And then on my receiver, it'll be, this is the Fat Shark Dominator V3 non-HD running the rapid fire with a TBS um, Triumph and then a little... What is this? Triple patch feed.
What impressed me most about the Pro 32 Nano was how clean the video is. Compared to the Unify Race, the overall image was much cleaner on the Pro 32 with less glitches and when there were glitches on the video, the video came back much quicker. The Unify Race did seem like it had more, a slightly more range, but it was still a dirtier feed overall. At the last race last weekend, I loved how the Pro 32 Nano performed. I think there were like 5 pilots in my heat and I didn't even notice any of the normal issues when racing with other pilots. Also, the tiny size of the Pro 32 um, is a great uh, combination with 2020 stacks because it's actually small enough to fit on top of a 2020 stack like this. So if you're in the market for a small, light, race VTX with super clean video signal, uh, I'd highly recommend you checking out the TBS Unified Pro 32 Nano. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!